Hello, welcome to your 15 minute workout. Continuing the Pilates principles, we're on to precision. So I've chosen a few exercises that have uh, several moving parts and we're trying to move them as precisely as possible and as, as efficiently as possible as well. So come to lying on your back. I'm going to give um, some modifications for a few of the exercises first and then we'll do the, the exercise itself. So the first one is called coordination. So I teach the two parts separately, as well as what the, what the, the legs and the arms. And then I'll also teach what the head and spine can do or does not have to do. So first the legs, bring both legs into tabletop. Take a breath in. As you exhale, extend both legs out to 45 degrees. Stay here for an inhale, exhale. Then stay here for a breath. Exhale, extend the legs. Stay for a breath in. And exhale and bend, keeping neutral the entire time, your navel drawing in. And the arms combined with the legs. As the X, so elbows are bent into what's called dead bug position. We're here with the elbows bent by the sides, fingertips up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, the elbows are straightened. The arms will float a couple of inches away from the mat, parallel to the mat and then you're gonna bend them and lower back down. Again, exhale, stay here for an inhale, exhale, and lower. So now the arms and legs combine together. Exhale and extend, stay for an inhale, exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows and lower. So on the way back in, the knees start to bend first and then the elbows. So again, everything goes at once, stay for an inhale, Exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, and then relax the elbows back down. Now what the head can do. If you have spine injuries, don't do this one, or osteoporosis, osteopenia, don't do this one, or other abdominal injuries, just do the arms and the legs. But the head and the shoulders are optional. You're gonna bring your chin to your throat, lift your head, lift your shoulders, exhale and curl forward. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, bend your knees your elbows, lower your elbows, your shoulders, and your head. And again, exhale, curl forward, extend the elbows and the knees, stay here for an inhale, exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, and lower. And again, exhale, and curl forward, stay here for an inhale, exhale, bend your knees, bend your elbows, and lower. One more like this, exhale, and curl forward, stay here for an inhale, exhale, bend your knees, bend your elbows, and lower. We're going to add on one more extra detail for the arms. Exhale and curl forward. On the inhale, float both arms up. Exhale, push your palms down, bend your knees, bend your elbows, and lower. And exhale, curl forward. Extend the elbows and the knees. Inhale, float both arms up. Push palms down, bend your knees, bend your elbows, and lower. Two more like this. Like I said, this is called coordination. There's quite a bit going on here little dance. Last one. All right, lower your feet onto the mat with your ankles and inner thighs together. Place your palms down by your sides and bridge your hips up. And straighten your right knee, keeping the inner thighs together. And then bend your knee. Put your right foot directly back onto the mat next to your left foot and then switch sides. Keeping the pelvis still, keeping the inner thighs touching. One more like this. And then lower your pelvis straight back down. And we're going to add on. Bridge your hips back up, straighten the right knee, point your toes, lift the leg up into the air, flex the foot as the inner thighs touch. Point and lift, flex and lower. Point and lift, flex and lower. Point and lift, flex and lower. Last one, bend your knee, lower your foot, switch sides. So inner thighs touch, lift, they lower until they touch again. Point the foot, lift, flex and lower. Just doing half of a leg lift. Last one, bend your knee and lower your foot. Bring your pelvis straight back down to the mat. Now the other half of the leg lift, bridge your hips up. Straighten your right knee, point your toes. Now flex the foot. Lower the heel with a straight knee down towards the mat. Point and lift till the inner thighs touch. 
So here's the second half of the leg lift, technically leg lowering, leg lifting. Bend your knee, switch sides, flex and lower, point and lift. Keep lifting from the opposite gluteal fold. Last one, bend your knee and lower your foot. Make sure the ankle bones are touching, knees are touching, and lower your pelvis back down. Come up to sitting. We're gonna do rolling like a ball and open leg rocker. Uh, here is a modified version first. So we're gonna do with the legs in a V shape. There's several variations of this. The hands on the shins, keeping that diamond shape um, or kind of angled V kind of shape. Your navel can be down towards your spine. You're gonna roll back an inch and up an inch, back an inch and up an inch. You're keeping the C shape of the spine, the curve of the spine. And as you draw the navel in, that's what's taking you back. Imagine navel back, then head comes forward to bring you back up. Navel takes you back, head kind of coming forward and curling and you're bringing through the chin into your throat, brings you back up. Or you think of shoulders bringing you forward. You can continue that if you have spine injuries, this is a good way to do it. And if you have a healthy spine, you can roll back to your shoulder blades, keeping your navel into your spine. As you breathe in, exhale, roll you back up. So a little different breathing pattern. You could play with the breathing for the small, rolling forward and backwards. You could try it with an inhale back and exhale back up. Um, either is fine, but for this one, inhale back, exhale up to give you a drop of momentum to get you back up. Then the hard part, is not rolling too far back and not creating too much momentum that you can't stop at the top without the feet touching the floor. If you have the option from here, if that's going well, to take those legs into a kind of a full V shape for open leg rocker, same thing. Just keep in mind with the um, longer legs, there's more momentum. So inhale back and exhale back up. Inhale back. And exhale, back up. Two more. And last one. And there you go. We're gonna continue with our precision exercises. And I can tell my precision exercises have moved my mat. So uh, come on to your stomach. We're gonna do a double leg kick. I'm gonna teach the parts again. Once if you have a back injury or, or a knee injury, you may want to do just one part or just the other part, see how it feels. So starting with just the legs. For now, rest your head on your hands. Inner thighs are together. You're going to bring your heels towards your tush three times. Straighten your knees, float the thighs away from the mat. As you lower the thighs, bring the heels towards your tush again. And really give yourself a nice swift kick. You can imagine that um, there's some resistance, like you're moving through mud or pudding, or you have a resistance band to attach your ankles to a doorknob or a table leg in front of you. Create some resistance. At the same time, when you bring those heels in, keep your pubic bone down to the mat. And lower. Now the upper body. Clasp your hands at your lower back. Elbows relaxed, relax down towards the floor. Turn your head to the right so your left cheek is on the mat. As you inhale, you're gonna clasp your hands, reach your hands towards your feet. Lift your chest into many swans, so your sternum forward. And then relax, elbows relax down. On the inhale, come into many swan. And lower elbows relax. Each time, turning the head in the other direction. Finishing where we started. And um, for that one, commonly what happens is after you do the extension of the elbows, the elbows sort of stay up there. So see if you can let the elbows drop and relax towards the floor. So this is the position for the heel kicks. As the leg extends, that's when you reach the hands towards the feet. Oh, hello, kitty.
two more sets. Just keep check that your navel is into your spine. And just know you can completely flip the breathing and do sniff, 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 and then exhale. That's an option too. And then lower. Rock your pelvis side to side. Come to side lying, and you have two options for your bottom leg. Your bottom leg can be bent um, with your spine kind of along the back edge of the mat, so you have room for that bottom leg. You can also keep the hips bent and turn the bottom leg into external rotation and bring the toes to the floor. It's going to give you a little extra stretch for that bottom foot while you're doing some leg feel for the, the top leg. The hand that's up in the air can go on your hip or can go on the mat in front of you for some support. You're going to flex the top leg. Toes are pointed forward. And you're going to swing the leg forward, bend your knee, point your toes, and reach the foot back behind you. So it's like backpedaling or running backwards. Navel into your spine. You're going to keep everything else still. Try not to let the pelvis swing forward as the leg swings forward. Two more. Flexing as you go forward, pointing to reach back. And the last one. And then reverse it. Swing the leg to the back. Bring your heel towards your tush. Flex the foot, reach the foot forward, point and swing back. Bring your heel to your tush. Bring the knee forward, reach the heel forward, and swing back. I like to exhale as I reach my foot forward, but you could inhale and exhale as you swing back. Last one. And relax. Other side. So once again, the setup is for our side-lying bicycle leg. Bottom leg can be bent. It will give you a little extra support. We're going to have the bottom leg with bent slightly forward at the hip. External rotation of the bottom leg with the toes turned under for a little foot stretch while you're working out the top leg. Stacking one hip on top of the other. The top leg is neutral, neutral position. Kneecap pointed forward, toes pointed forward. Swing forward with a flexed foot. Bending at the hip, point the toes. Bend the knee, reach the foot back behind you, and swing forward. Hand can be on your hip or on the mat in front of you. Keeping neutral the entire time. And then reverse. Bring your heel towards your sit bone, bring your knee forward, flex the foot, reach the foot forward. Four more, navel to your spine. Last two. And last one. And lower your legs. Last exercise. Come on to hands and knees. This is a version of cat and cow. We're going to be adding the arms and legs into it. So let's practice cow and cat. Inhale onto cow. Excellent. Now, on your inhale, reach the right arm forward and the left leg back. And as you exhale, bend your elbow on your knee. Draw your navel into your spine. Bring your gaze down towards your elbow and your knee. And have to try to touch underneath you. And exhale, reach back out. And you are coming in to cow as you reach out. Last one. And lower your hand and your knee and switch sides. So it's cat and cow with a single arm and leg reach. And imagine curling yourself into a ball and then come back out. Gently pressing the fingertips down to the mat for a little extra support. Keeping the 
chest, pull the knee away from the mat. Last one. And lower your hand to your knee. And you are all finished.